This Let's Play features an adult using adult language. You have been warned. How's it going, folks? My name's Stephen Wolf. Welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. Had a bit of an issue. We'll discuss that before moving on with our adventure. Issue being, well, and this is highly, highly frustrating. I had recorded about four hours of footage. And then the recordings got cooked. Something How's happened to the footage, something went sideways, and it just was gone. So, I went back to my earlier save, and here we are. The main reason I hopped back to this save specifically was, frankly, it was a bit of a layer of honesty and humanitarian or whatever you want to call it. My thought process is I can't guarantee across an eight hour difference that I will have exactly the same item drops, exactly the same luck, exactly the same decisions. Rather than take the risk, I can start over from an earlier save. So that's where my head was at. We're doing goon shit. We're about to help Pan Am with a mission that she wasn't giving us a lot of specifics on. That's fine. By all means, we're going to shoot some shit. We've still got the overture. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I distinctly recall making multiple different decisions. And that is going to be messing with me until, until we get back to where we were. 226 thou. Let's fix this real quick. Yes? Hey, bro. What's up? Want to see what you got in stock. Browse to your heart's content. All right. What do we got? We've got an Omaha. We've got a Sidewinder. Dog shit everything else. Fuck me. All right. Gucci. Real Jinguchi. I might as well stock up on ammo while I'm here. Hundred eighty nine rounds. Ninety nine rounds. Fifty rounds. Twenty five rounds. There we go. Don't need any additional sights. Don't need any additional goodies. Cool, 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 cool. We can sell the Kyubi. Yeah. Any gun that's non-lethal is not fucking worth it in my eyes. Any gun that's non-lethal. Don't need the razor. Might as well save the chef's knife. I am a little upset because we did some really cool shit. We solved a murder. Like, I felt really accomplished with what I did in the previous episodes. In the previous recordings of these episodes. So, being all the way back here hurts. In ways I can't really ex explain or quantify. It... frustrating it really is but we're gonna make the best of it we're gonna do what we can with the tools that are before us we're gonna make it work where the fuck is my car oh my dumbass fast traveled okay I was hoping I was an adult and drove thanks past Steve Oh, and we should have some new texts. Uh, apparently not. That's fine. No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour. Reporting directly to me. <laughs> Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? V, or you're here. Hey. What is he doing here? 
I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. Hm? No. Nothing has changed at all. No, I'm aware. The people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? Right. All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Oh, absolutely. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back. And drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope, different that. Rescue mission, someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick them. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. I like her. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. I guess we're going. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that works. I love being able to hear a bike outside. I know it's one of my neighbors. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk and parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! <laughs> the convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. 
few years back? Nobody would have given Corporal Work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. See, it, it makes sense to me that V is going to ask a shitload of I questions. Think I heard a little shake in that. There it is. Congratulations! You picked the correct number in today's Body Cow Lottery! You're the lucky winner of a Quattro Sport R7 Vigilante! Don't drive it all in one place! Wow, thanks. I totally did pick a number. Can't believe it. Can't believe it won. Your new Quattro Sport R7 Vigilante has been shipped to your address. Please play again. Voice. <laughs> not even you gonna fucking not. question that. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. <laughs> but Anyways. are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Anyways, I like the idea of V asking pertinent questions, asking the sort of details that fucking matter with, you know, a convoy heist. And from there, geez, cut the bumper close, sweetheart. Damn. Let's go. Wee. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. It was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. Yeah, my thought process, I like the idea of V asking pertinent questions, making sure she's not going off half-cocked, and giving a damn about her opinions of we whether or not she's done the math, so that when it comes down to it in public, he can be able to back her 100% because he's on the same page, as any couple should do. You hash out the details, you Big figure it out bastard. behind the scenes. We like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Right, bullshit. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Growing Are we up, ready? that's what I saw with my parents. They would handle shit behind the scenes. Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Uh, seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They use it as their reloading point. You didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. All right. But yeah, I, I noticed, like, remembering stuff in the future, looking back at things that occurred, 
you start to real notice things like your parents discussing things heatedly behind the scenes and then in front they're united right you, you notice little things like that and frankly for me that's how people should handle their shit right you discuss it you figure out the details as much as possible so that when you're in person what are you two doing i'm finding my inner peace before the storm while teddy is just being dead weight <laughs> Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. A goal, a love, and a dream are what breed a real man. Truer words, brother. Drinking always breed deep thoughts. I just feel like people expect some motivational bullshit from me. You got a point. Have fun, kids. Hold on. Used to be I hit the Z key, and then I could switch objectives. That could be interesting. Stamina bar to be displayed bottom center of the HUD. Crowds on the minimap, sure. Imperial metric. We'll leave it on Imperial. American, right? What's that in freedom units? There we go. Ooh, that's nice. What does Carol have to say? Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Yes, ma'am. Never seen old tech like this. You know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? What cards now? An old data storage method. When the net collapsed, we were thrown back to the 20th century. What's it even look like? They're cardboard cards with holes punched in them. As code in columns. Sheesh. Each hole position, punched or not, represents a unit of data. Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that is weird. Let's see what Mitch is up to. Gentlemen. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. Remember when we first met? You almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? Something change? Uh huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Yes, good. Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor is damaged. Third from the right. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, V. Anytime, gentlemen. Hey, Pan Am. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Um, sweetheart. Hi, that 
was quick. I have my moments. You'd be amazed what I can do with my hands. Okay, that is the last horny thing we are saying today. Hmm. The stairs it is, then. Mitch and Bob are already connected. Got a little help from yours truly. <laughs> We're gonna T-pose up the stairs, sweetheart? Come on. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Hell of a view. Carol! What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Cards punched with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Okay, thank you. Nothing here. Nope. Uh, and stairs further up. Nada. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the card Nothing here. down car Please. yeah yeah I am not here hmm. hey found well, some. well well Bart Moss's Guide to the Net. <laughs> Ancient bit of history right there. Got something. Good job. Goes nothing. Well, more accurately, here goes something to hopefully not cause nothing. It worked. Come look. <laughs> Little engine that could. Damn right. V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happier out here. You can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah. Because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God. So you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself. But why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cock this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. 
When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Almost cocked that up. <laughs> We've always dreamed of living like a rock star. I still don't know how many strings a guitar has. All is not lost. Porsche 911 Turbo Cabriolet 930. That means convertible. That sports a spicy black and yellow paint job. Unique decals designed by probably the biggest fa samurai fan to ever walk this earth. <sighs> Come on, El Convoy. Capitan. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. This is going well. Gotta make sure to be more supportive to her, though. That uh, little dig about to... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where Pan Am is? No idea. <laughs> God damn it. She's never in the camp when you need her. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Sure. <gasps> hey, 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 Pan Am. Hey, uh, I got a text. Saul wants to know where you are. Oh, fuck. Hi. Hello, brightness. Ooh. Ooh, we hit full bright. That's a paddling. Jesus. We could still Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading on. Hurry up and wait then. Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. <laughs> Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> We'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Jackie. Did 
A friend of mine actually uh, recently sh introduced me to, uh, what was it, uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer? I need to get more of that stuff. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. <laughs> Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's some major leak. <laughs> Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Yeah, I'm awake. <laughs> Let's ride, V. Okay. All right. I'm awake. <laughs> That battle tech's finally paying off. Leaving. You'd better move. Yep. There we go. 
sorry. Who dropped what? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's <laughs> go. Ready to roll. <laughs> You gotta make sure to get the loot drop. Come on now. Don't give me that look. Yeah, beep, beep. Fuck! It worked! Woohoo! Of course it did! Just as I said it would! Hell yeah. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Oh, absolutely. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. I'm curious how accurate this is compared to real life. Uh, the handful of times I've seen military vehicles in the like a flatbed of a train, you'll see like a handful of Abrams or whatever current modern American tanks there are ripping past. But I like the idea of stuff being mailed like that, disassembled, so that a couple of local yokels with <laughs> uh, okay. the general There's and a dream can make it work. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Like, I can't imagine the shenanigans that would ensue with a proper tank version of Killdozer. <laughs> This should be good. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. Fuck! Out! So it begins. Mm hmm. Meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. <laughs> sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. They had them from the start. We'll see. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. <laughs> you need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. High-level shenanigans. 
high level shenanigans. Okay. Queen to the highway. Leave the camp. Wait a day until the basilisk is ready. I'm pretty sure we have max... Oh, we got a skill point. We should put that towards our tech ability. Hmm. Well, cyberware effects. Better vehicle health. Vehicle mounted weapons get better damage and shortened lock-on time. Don't really need that. Let's see. Better grenade charge. Better recharge speed for grenades outside of combat. That could be useful. What about our cool? That's all our handgun shit, right? Shooting grenades out of the air is easier and the blast is more powerful. Resets the duration. Ooh, yo. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Yeah, that's gonna be cool as shit. Alright, I think we found some good gear. No, we did not. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. SOR 22 is pretty badass. Not this one, though. It's got fucking... what? Alright. Looks like most of our other good shit was scrapped. <sighs> Big yawn. Got a bed to crash in. All right. Oh, we have a stash. I'm going to put the Overwatch in there. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Rarog Vest? Oh. Red Rebels. Night City. I don't know why I have duplicates, but that's cool. I have a Gwent t-shirt. Yo. Oh, it's hideous. I love it. We got we've got some cool shit. We really do. Got the Lexington X mods still. I've felt no need to improve the Lexington X mod. I should probably fix that. Wild Hunt jacket. That actually looks like a Gambison. That's a nice touch. Oh, that's a nice touch. What's the um, Gwyn Blade. We got a machete. Ooh. Deals extra damage against bosses. After killing enemies in rapid succession, all attacks are temporarily granted crit hits. Holy shit. That's gorgeous. Which is tragic for me because I'm not a melee guy. What the hell is Scourge? Tier 5 iconic tech pistol. Decent damage. Charge shots a hit autom hit an affected enemy by burn are automatically replenished in the magazine. What? Scorch. What in the Witcher shenanigans is that? Alright, I gotta give that a try. That sounds like ridiculousness right there. Got divided we stand. Grab one of each just so that it's in my inventory and I can say that yes, I do in fact own it. There we go. I don't need that, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. Stow that, stow that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Is 
that an inner torso layer? Outer, inner. Might as well wear the Gwent shirt. Right? Kongu. High scrap materials user can take advantage of ricochet technology even if they don't possess the required cyberware. Not really my speed. Guillotine, pretty cool. SPD, SPT 32 Grad, not really my speed. Because we have the Overwatch. Oh good, they brought favorites back, okay. Alright, we've got gold apparel. So yeah, we've got the... I think having the automatic, then the heavy, then the sniper is the best call. Widowmaker. Ooh, all of my cyberware is cheap right now. Surprised there's nowhere to get changed here. What is this? Lame joke? Hey, how about this one? What do you call a Mexican Arasaka boss? A Saburis. Saburito. <sighs> Seriously, Mitch, just stop. I'm gonna tell Netwatch to cut off your access. Yeah, that. That was fucking atrocious, dude. What the hell? There we go. Whoop. Dear NCART passenger, please to inform you the technical problem with your NCART city pass has been resolved. Full access to all NCART services has been restored. <gasps> we got our metro card. We can take the subway. Cool. Fucking cool. Oh, I do not remember that being that high. All right, not even gonna question it. Um, you probably just buy the better version, so we're going to save the upgrades. Um, yeah, let's get the better shock absorber. Do I need the smart link? Or would the ballistic co-process... No, Smart Link would be better. Because it's coming with RAM. And in case I pick up a Smart Link weapon, that's pretty useful. Circulatory system. Better clutch padding. Yep. Uh, heal on kill. Let's see if that's less expensive. It is. Nice. Alright. Biomon. Micro rotors. Heal and kill. Second heart. This was the guy I was worried about. Alright. Yes. Booyah. Alright. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. I don't have the eddies for the better thumper. That's fine. Titanium boons. Fiend X. That's new. Okay, we're losing a measurable amount of armor. Plus 250% RAM regen when available RAM is below 7. 2% damage reduction per attribute point. What do I replace with that? Universal booster, bionic joints.
Okay, replacing the most useful AUG I have. What? Yeah, we're not fucking doing that. Are you high? Ram recoup. That's taking damage restores it. That's a little spicy. What about our nervous system? We can ma max our Karenzikov. I don't need that. We're redlining our abilities, but for a good cause. Prox shield. Can I just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, 75 scrap. Fuck it. Go big or go home. 37 from there. Okay. I think it's 75 scrap to improve our cyberdeck to 5 plus. And then if I remember correctly, it's another 200 to take it that much further. What do you got for sale? Nothing! Yeah. Crafting. Uh, hold on now. 79. 273. There we go. Make 35 of that. Making sure I have max ammo. Okay. And then... 16 of that. Ten of that, and then we can make two of that. <laughs> God, it dwindles so hard. That is pretty fucking crazy, though. All right. How much to just swap it out? Sixteen? That gives us a bonus to armor and carry capacity. We don't really need the carry capacity, do we? Better armor. Plus 7.5. What? Thirty-four, twenty-eight. I should say, I'm going to say, what the fuck? How is that? I'm not going, someone screwed up that. Krenzikov boost. EX disc, swapping that out. Five RAM, 30% upgrade speed. Yup. That answered that. Okay. Newton module. I'm not wasting that. Ram upgrade. Superior recovery. Current 1%. Cannot afford the Camille Ram manager. That's fine. Synaptic Accelerator, Enemy Detection, Karenzikov, Reflex Tuner. Alright, we're good for now. Yeah, we're good for now. Kick ass. Alright, we've got our metro card because it's the latest patch of the game let's actually try and take one of the metro service systems oh, oh you can actually see the oh. you have no idea how long i've actually wanted that all right so this is this is actually kind of a rather important to me Right. 
don't know why there's the tension music right now. Oh, I still have the double jump. Goodness. I had swapped out the double jump for the boost jump. That way it has more of that Deus Ex vibe. But this works. Why is there just a ladder leading to up here? Oh. But yeah, no, um... So this is more than a little important to me. Purely because the last time I was on a subway was when I lived in New York. So this has a bit of meaning to me. <laughs> as weird as it may seem. Watson. Welcome to N54. It's time for your local news. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166, and 101. Eyewitness accounts... You know what the worst thing is about this place? ...on unaffiliated persons... <sighs> I'll be late tonight. Yes, yes, deadline can't be extended. The crowds? All the time. Oh, you're exaggerating a bit, don't you think? No, the fucking smell. We'll continue to keep you in. True. Sweet, it is not. I have Chill. obligations. You could spoil you know. shit in piss, well, and you're it's still the no asked. better than this fucking dog. Yes, yes, I already told him. Welcome to the N54 News World. I have to go now. Love you too. Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough in the fight against multiple sclerosis. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected... You're now at... Wellsprings. Biodyne have stop. created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long-term... Uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. The cost of this cutting-edge therapy treatment has been listed at 700,000 euro dollars per month. For the Beware of pick sockets. Please ensure all neural ports and shards are protected and secure. The 10,000-acre dumping ground ranks among the world's largest and contains both toxic and biological waste. Firefighters combating the blaze have died, and another 40... Next stop, Alexander Street. The Swedish Academy Award for Literature have announced its latest recipient, Virginia Granchester, citing her most recent book, In the State of an Apple Tree, as a This... This is actually a lot how I remember it. <laughs> oh, this is great. Her first novel, Requiem for a Samurai, which was published in 70 languages simultaneously, sold over 3 million copies. In the Shade of an Apple Tree is a drama set in 20th century Ireland and is already considered a masterpiece of post-collapse literature. This has been your World Report. Thank you for tuning in to N54 News. You're now at Alexander Street.
Next stop, Mega Building H10. Okay, enough farting around. I thought I reset that. Hold on. Key bindings. There we go. Let's find something to do. All right. You can actually see the Ripper now. What? That's wild. Oh, that's a nice touch. That way it's easier to remember who does what where. North side epistrophe be a good call. There's a gig there, gig there. Is this fucking dork? Okay, well, what do we actually have? Center man. Yeah, I'm not up for center man. I'm really not up for center man. I can get the ball rolling on the Voodoo Boys quest. Or I can do Epistrophe Northside. Yeah, yeah, let's do Epistrophe Northside. It's a ways away, so I'll fast travel close and then drive over Pinewood Junction. There we go. He was about to crack. A few months in Northside, the last or Excuse me. Bro. Hey, watch it. Yeah, fuck you. Is there a fast travel thing right near me? The atrium. Arguing with you is pointless. Word on a breaking story. A Ken Tao AD has crashed outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge yeah. from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crashed landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Kang Tao's surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack with additional losses. That's a the lie. company has already announced a forceful response against the nomad camps. After the break, President Myers has released a statement on the flow of refugees from the Netherlands. Tell me that's a Who do I spy? A happy new... Yeah, what do you got, buddy? Hmm. Got anything that might interest me? Not really. Yeah, sorry, dude. I'm just not a fan Good today. owner, I hope. It's weird rushing back here just to get a fast travel point, but you do what you gotta do. There it is. There we go. Alright, oh. Okay. Let's try the vigilante. Okay. Different. I like it. Interesting having the entire fucking engine exposed. Very Batman. Have determined that you 
button. I don't think they're a fan. That bloodbag V is rotten fucking meat. I fucking murdered our brothers and sisters in Chrome and he'll suffer for it. If anyone catches him burning rubber and Watts again, you drag him out by the hair and beat the co cocky fuck's face in. Oh. Money shark. Sorry, dude. Man, I just got my new wheels and you're gonna fuck up the door. Oh, fuck you guys. Some bullshit behavior. Alright, fuck it. The javelin. And because it's got guns. So I respect there being consequences to my actions. That's actually a good feeling. Ow. Slow down. Leave me be. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, Bucko. Come on, I need you to pull over, homie. Sir, pull over. Remove the keys from the ignition. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Got 
this fish to fucking fry right now, Chuck. Buddy, you're not even, like, doing a quick pursuit. You're just kind of... You're like a toddler running... Oh, that's a bad idea. You should probably stop. Well, there you have it. I'm grateful, V. I've managed to re-establish contact with the vehicle. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. Ha ha ha. At least you're learning humor, Del. I'm in love with my car. And you a little old to be dreaming about pro racing career? Still, it'd be a damn shame to let a preen set of wheels like this go to waste. Just let the mayor know if you want to shut down any city streets. Or don't. Fuck that guy. What'd you spot there, Johnny? V, we try to get inside. <sighs> Why? Whoa. Type 66, boom. Alright, let's take a look around. Same as mine. 2055, tuned engine, armored finish. Liberty in here. Car keys. There we go. Oh, baby. What was that Liberty I picked up? Yeah, I'm not liking the Scorch, but I also picked it up at a weird time. Is there trouble we can get into? Is there anything close? Not really. That is not to 60. Whoa, okay. We're not going to end up on a YouTube fail video. Come on, man. Gentlemen. Man, when it goes, it wants to go. Crime? Oh, hello.
Oh. What do we got? Max stop, use typo. All done. Info from bad and checked out stuff's here. Just one shoe him away. Got away. We got we put holes in him. Guy's bleeding out like a burst pipe. 1987's the code. Blood. Not a lot of places for this poor bastard to go. Pounds of lead. Poor guy. I wonder if I level up from that. <laughs> Thanks for having my back during that shouting match between me and Saul. I was so livid, I can't even remember what I said. I just hope he didn't catch any stray venom because of me. Nothing about what I told you made me feel a little uncomfortable. You know what I mean. Everything's fine. I miss you. Uh, well, so do I. It's just, you know. Yeah, I know. Just waiting for the right moment. Well, the one we had by the fire wasn't right enough. It's just getting warmed up. See you soon. car shenanigans we can get up to. There's a gig here we were driving to. I'm trying to get used to the uh, the hoon. God, all the stickers and whatnot. It looks a little sick, not gonna lie.
it feels a little slippier, slipperier than the javelin. Definitely depends more on brake control, and if you overturn it, fishtails like a son of a bitch. But it's fun. It's nice. It's fast. Sorry! I have no insurance! V, one more thing. When you talk to Pan Am, make sure to watch your tongue. She rarely opens up to anyone outside the family. Sticks and stones won't break her bones, but words... Okay. Thanks. Any other advice? Serious question. You'll be fine. You're her type. Good luck. Really? The badge gets to jaywalk? I kind of want to see you get tagged by a car. Child, I have a grave task for you. The literal kind. The net runner is still alive, but what happens to her is either a matter of time or your discretion. Bugbear is trapped in the net. If she jacks out, the tiger claws stand ready waiting like vultures to tear her to shreds. And if she doesn't, her synapses will fly soon enough anyway. I am counting on you, V. See the details attached. Oh, shit. Okay. Used to be Bugbear and the Tigers got along, yada yada. Get her out and give word. I'll send transport. Disconnect her safely. She's useless to me. Dead. Don't be soft. I'm great.
Brought the animation from the original. Yes, love to see it. That animation was originally only in the damn uh, what you calls it, the video for the demo. Who are we supposed to believe, huh? Knit runners stick together. Had enough trouble with her once. <laughs> cool me down on BBQ. Yep. Let me find something to cool you down. How's it going, you jacker out yet? Yeah, gonna need more time, boss. We can force this connect, but she won't tell us a thing. Gotta find someone who knows how bug of our work, who knows where we got any runners. I better just call you. Coolant! Military grade aramid running. Oh. Hello. That would be useful. If I did more hacking. <laughs> pretty sleek, pretty sleek, pretty sleek. Liberty, that's not bad. I don't know, I'm liking the Scorch. I really am. Hmm. How do I disconnect you? That's a bad idea. Okay. Should have a clear path to the exit. Worst case, I get freaky with quick hacks. You can't. I distinctly recall the one time I'd done this mission before, and it went loud. I was shooting at dudes across the street, and I was killing motherfuckers. Oh. 
Uh oh. Back up there in a second. <laughs> Getting warmer. Well done, my dear. I am pleased. As they say, we will be in touch. Contract. Anytime. Taste the love. I'm surprised we didn't level something. That was a lot of effort. Really, game? All right, I gotta fix that. Settings, controls. Nah. We gotta get rid of the dash on double tap. That's gonna get my ass killed. Ooh, the game doesn't crash first. Fuck. Game crashed. It actually booted surprisingly quickly. Normally it takes a fucking age to start up. That's wild. Maybe. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday, too? Yeah, when the lights went out, there I was cooking dinner. Oh, well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch. Yo, okay. And it saved from before I picked up the guns, too. All right. Let's pick that shit up real quick. Fucker. Got here. One C, one C, P D. That was concerningly easy. Okay. Not bad. What kind of problems can I cause all the way out this way? Mint runner, auto fixer, gun shop, clothing, side job. <laughs> that was dumb. You're gonna be paranoid as shit about my quick saves from moving forward. Fall in love with Night City all over again. That's it for today's latest. Thank you. Ooh, more gold. 
street. Hooded bomber. It feels like a city. It really does. It's great. V, how you doing? Before you ask, things aren't too great over here. Saul's always giving Pan Am shit like there's no tomorrow. I try to stay out of it, keep calm, fix the basilisk. That's my newest motto. It's gonna be beautiful when it's finished. Even if we all go down for this, it was worth it. If anything notable happens, I'll be the first to let you know. Fuck it. Yeah. Love to see you. I'm not sure why remapping the controls isn't working. I'm not gonna question it though. It's probably something broke in the latest patch, but that's fine, you know? I, I'm fucking impressed that they felt the need to actually maintain the game in the first place. You guys know my backstory. I would hope by now, you guys watching my channel, you know the backstory of. I've been playing this literally since launch and seeing all the little improvements, seeing all the major improvements, and the fact that they stuck with it has just been just so cool to see. That's how it works. I'm excited to see what this mission is. Oh, this is the BD salesman. Yeah, I got 20 minutes. This is gonna go poorly. Hey, hey, you there? Hey, you dig brain dances? Hey, feast your optics right here, yo. Got the meanest, primest shit ever scrolled. B, hey, I need your help. NCPD asking a freelancer for help. Things gone that far to shit? I should talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then. Oh, boy. Meet me in the evening at the corner of Pacifica Boulevard and Market Street. Shit, man. All the way the fuck out there? <sighs> Alright, let's drive something that's more street appropriate. The Hoon. <laughs> Yeah, the javelin. There we go. Hey, gorgeous. Alright, and I will fast forward to when we get there. Hey! Did I do something to you? Yeah, you're in the fucking crosswalk on a red. I 
I've noticed the handling on the javelin is significantly more functional than the handling on the hoon. The Type 66 hoon seems to be a bit slippery when you start making turns, whereas the javelin is very much all-wheel drive with dirt tires. Eey, that was weird. Not gonna question that one. I don't know, call me old fashioned, I prefer the job. That and I can shoot people with it. I mean the Hoon has guns too, but I just love the job of flow. Okay, thanks Matt. Scare the shit out of me, why don't you? So I get for driving too fast. Problem with being faster than light. You'll always live in darkness. A hundred percent. I've mentioned this before. I'll say it again until the fucking cows come home. Or I can afford a better graphics card. It's purely my graphics card. Like, if I had a better card, we wouldn't be running into this issue. Uh, I'm... I'm running a 1080 Ti. Or not 10 I'm running a 1050 Ti. So things do not run well for me. We can fix that. I've got eight minutes. I can fix that. That's what I do. Too many bottom feeders pouring in from shitholes you never even heard of. A lot of folks leaving Night City, too. Mostly the ones that can't stand people like you. I'd say it comes out even. Well, maybe if we... <laughs> Why do we have... Oh. What the fuck? Is it just you? Dude. Why is it just you? Get flushed. Seriously? Tracy, new job. I mean, new ish you've done many times before. Zero guy knows too much, talk too much. Gabriel. Abatanj Abatangelo? Abatangelo. There we go. Politician, pretty well known, so if I were you, I'd do it remote. NCPD won't be able to just pretend to do their job. They're going to investigate for real. Don't get caught on any cameras. Gabriel's pretty much a regular some beady down on Market Street. Goes up on the roof to smoke after his sesh. Should be easy enough to hit him there. Easy peasy. Scratch is right. Smoking kills. That was messy. I don't like it when it's, uh, when it's messy like that. Where's the 
BD Den on Market Street. Where's the body? Damn! It's a fun little traffic accident right there. Here's the spot we're going to be waiting for River, but we can get this quest squared away first. Oh. Alright, well, let's put this towards technical ability. And put our one skill point towards... Let's, let's think about this, actually. Let's put it towards cool. Yeah, when focus is an active, shooting grenades out of the air is easier and the blast is more powerful. Well, it's... from Gabe. Should have the new docs day after tomorrow. Heavy stuff. Not sure if the editors will let you push it through. City will sure to sue the shit out of you. Or worse, thinking about working with the pirate broadcast. Maybe Doc Paradox? Wouldn't happen to know how to get in touch. Can we trust him? Either way, let's meet and be careful. Watch who you talk to. See, that worked out well for you. What is our... Okay. Clock's ticking. We're pretty famous. Metamorphosis. Not good, but not bad. Okay. Street Art Hooded Bomber. That's cool. Okay, that's not bad. It's not what I would wear because it makes me look like I sell drugs to teenagers. Yeah. We are very much out of time for today. Things took a different turn than expected. Not going to complain. Unfortunately, we're out of time for today. So until we meet again, stay classy, Internet.